Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building a house with the money I make in two minutes of working. Now, the reason I'm doing such a low amount of time is because, as you can see, I'm level 50 at delivery person. So I feel like if I was to do 10 minutes or even five minutes, I would just earn way too much to make this even a challenge. So the only rules I'm giving myself is that the house has to have three bedrooms, one bathroom, and be two floors high. So that way it's sort of an actual house and not just like a studio apartment. So with all that said, let's go to work for two minutes. We have made $12,274, which to be fair is quite a lot more than I expected, but we did actually manage to get 12,000. Now that sounds like a lot, but to build a two-story house, that is going to be quite hard. But I know that we can do it, so let's just get started. Okay, so here we are on an empty plot. As you can see, the house value is zero. So let's just quickly name this. And I'm not going to do too much speed building either. I'm going to sort of talk through the process because the house isn't exactly going to be a mansion with 12,000, is it? So it's time to place the first wall guys, I actually need to be quite careful where I put this because we don't want to waste too much money. So I, rather than actually placing all the walls then colouring them, I'm actually going to colour the first one and then clone it so we don't have to spend money on paint for every wall. Now in one of my other videos somebody said, how can someone be so good at interior but so bad at exterior? So I feel really self-conscious now. So rather than sticking with my classic design of brick, I feel like I should try something new. So I'm going to go for this sort of horizontal plank. So I feel like this should be the front door, then it should go back a little bit. So I don't want to go too big at all, so I'm just going to make it three along. I reckon eight back. If we're going to fit three bedrooms upstairs, then we definitely need it to be that long. So I might put the bathroom here. Then in here we can have the kitchen. Then here can be a little living room and a dining room. And then this can be like a little entryway. And we've also got to make sure there's room for the stairs. So spiral stairs would be ideal, but the cheapest one is $1,300. But you know me, I like to just be crazy. So we're going to add them anyway, because they look quite nice. And also look how space efficient that is. So I'm not going to add the wall trims yet either, because I don't want to add them and then run out of money. But I am going to add the next floor. And I hate to do it, but I think we're going to have to go with these plain doors because the next best doors are $395 and we just can't be spending that. So cheap doors it is. And I feel like, can we splurge on the front door? Yes. This is our splurge, guys. We may as well get the exterior done while we're here. So let's actually go and check how much we've spent so far. Oh my gosh, almost $2,000 just on the outside with no windows or anything. I think we're definitely going to have to get some cheapy windows. As you guys know, normally I'd be going for the traditional window, but $140 is way out of our budget. So I reckon that we're going to have to go for this one, which is half the price. And we're not going to be able to add loads, but we are going to colour it just to make it look a bit nicer. And can we afford some shutters on here? Let's see. $60 I don't know we could get these cheap ones and then color them yeah only $40 let's just do it and guys we've already spent $4,000 we literally only have eight thousand left to do the whole inside i'm literally being so reckless with this outside right let's first place down floor and i think a way to make this look quite cute is to do the kitchen checkered and then this main room can have all the same floor. So maybe just these simple overlapping circles. And remember, we're not doing all white, so I might make it green, because I do like green lately. And oh my gosh, guys, people are pulling up to tell me to go to the hotel. Sorry, guys, doing a build challenge over here. Okay, so I'm going to go and colour everything, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've tried not to add too much white. I did add a little bit of white in the kitchen. And this is looking so basic. So I feel like we're just going to have to add wall trims. And if we run out of money, then we run out of money. I am going to get the very cheapest ones. And I'm going to use them carefully. Because look, we don't need them in the kitchen where there's going to be counters anyway. And now, speaking about the kitchen, we may as well do this next. I will literally never use this counter. I know it's the cheapest, but it's just so plain. And this one's only $150, so we're going to use this. And I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a fridge, guys. We obviously have to get an oven because the whole point is to make this a house that you can live in. The fridge is $500. Okay, I think I'm just going to buy it because you need a fridge in a house. Now, I just don't think we can actually afford cabinets, so I am actually going to add the wall trims up here. 
And I know this marble looks so bad, but we can't exactly use decals or anything because it's just way too expensive. Like in the other video, when I used decals on the wall, it literally cost me like 10,000 and it was a tiny house. And there we go, the kitchen is done for now. Let's look how much we've spent so far. <gasps> we spent half the budget and we've not even gone upstairs. Let's do the toilet, but make it so basic. Right, what is the cheapest, cheapest toilet? $190. And then I do want one sort of nice thing in here. So we're gonna use this shower because, sorry, but that blue shower curtain one is so bad. And then we are just gonna have to get the cheapest sink. And then coloring things, let's hope that makes this look not so awful. I think that looks quite nice. We do definitely need to add some toilet paper or something. And there we go, we've got the bathroom done for I think under a thousand. Now, this was meant to be like a dining room area as well, but do we have enough room for that? I just don't think so. So, yep, we are definitely using this simple sofa. And let's just put the chairs like this. And then we can have a little TV here. So we really are having to get the cheapest stuff here. I feel so like, ugh, but you know, it's all we can do. Now the TV guys, it's 560 for this one. I think if we're actually gonna finish this house, we are gonna just have to get this box TV. Now I think we should have some green sofas to match the floor. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is looking so bad. I'm just so used to building in white. Maybe actually we could have some yellow sofas. I'm not even going to lie and say that looks nice. That looks so bad. And do they get a coffee table? No, sorry. I'm actually going to add a light quickly. And we're just going to have to use this cheap light because we are not affording any fancy chandeliers, I'm afraid. Now it's time to head upstairs. And oh my gosh, I haven't even had a floor yet. Okay, so let's do the smallest bedrooms first. Obviously, I'm not gonna add like a sleeping bag, that's ridiculous. But they have these really cute beds for 180. So I think I'm just gonna add them in both of these smaller bedrooms. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna try and be too creative here. So I'm just gonna give them the most basic beds ever. Then I'm gonna give them this little table in the corner, maybe with a lamp on. Then hopefully this will just light up their whole room. Now, obviously we need to add some wallpaper in here. Okay, I quite like that. So we're trying to make this house fit for like a family. Now, the last thing that I want to add in here is a dresser. And let me just quickly check on the money again. Oh my gosh, we only have 4,000 left. I know 12,000 wasn't a lot, but I thought, okay, we can build a house with this. But it's actually so much more difficult than you think. Now, the big question is, is do I give them a rail or a chest of drawers? And then what's the cheap decoration we can put on this? Some pencils. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna be too creative here. So we're gonna be using a little bit of the copy and paste tool, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna try and add some of my fancy touch with this wallpaper. And oh my gosh, that doesn't look very good without wall trim. And now I really like that wallpaper, but I think that's too fancy for that room. So I am gonna use it in this big room. And oh my gosh, this is something good to make it look detailed. Let's just add a random vent. So this is obviously the main bedroom for whoever like owns the house. So I feel like we do need a double bed in here and the cheapest one is $500. Like, this wallpaper looks so bad. Let me add some wall trims, just because this is the master bedroom. Yeah, that hasn't really helped at all. I think what will help is adding another window in. And we only have $400 left of our budget, so we can kiss that dining room goodbye. I had a plan to have, like, a little closet, but that's not happening anymore. Let's just give them a chest of drawers at the end. And, oh my gosh, I literally think we're almost at the budget, guys. I think we have about $80 left. Oh my gosh, I never added a door here. Oh no, oh no. Right, I can't just leave that, can we? First of all, let's, and let's just do it as cheap as we can. And oh my gosh, guys, we literally have like $50 left. But there's not a door for $50, is there? Is there a window maybe for $50? Oh, that one would be so nice, that's 70. Maybe we can just add this here. And just like that, the house is done. Oh my gosh, there's a big house for sale over here. Maybe we should go move into that one instead. Anyway, let's return to my, oh my gosh, this is awful. We really should have completed the outside before going inside. I was expecting to like surprise you all, be like, guys, look, I can actually build a little bit and be like, oh yeah, did this with just two minutes work. No, this is absolutely atrocious. Look at the side. Anyway, let's stop being mean about our work and go in and look. Wow. <laughs> This is so nice. I mean, this living room is actually quite cozy. Just pretend there's not a massive empty space behind it. Anyway, and here's the kitchen. It's actually quite nice. God, I, would, I wish I didn't add that now. 
Oh my gosh, you can actually use this. What? That is so cool. Right, we're closing that because it looks a bit better. So we've done the kitchen. Oh no, we don't have a door to the bathroom. I'm going to have to add a door, guys, just because otherwise we can't tour it. Here is the bathroom. This is actually quite nice. If you just look at it from this angle, it's actually quite nice. Pretend that the whole street can't see you in here. Anyways, then we can head upstairs. Also didn't add any railings here, so that's a bit of a danger hazard. But but here is the first bedroom. Oh, it's very bright in here. We've got a little chest of drawers, a little vent and a bed. This actually isn't too, too bad. In here we have a pink bedroom. Again, not too bad. And then in here is the main bedroom. So we have a little dresser here and then the bed. I mean, this house isn't terrible. I think it's actually quite a cute little small house. I reckon with a couple extra thousand, we could have added some wall trims and just finished this house off. I mean, I'm quite proud of the kitchen and the bathroom, but everything else sort of went downhill. And if you're wondering what the final price was, oh, we got to pay our bills, only $36. It was $12,072, so that was about $200 under budget. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a little bit of fun. Make sure to go and follow me over on Roblox if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video.